Hello, hello, friends. Happy New Year's Eve. Hope everybody is having a great day and have had a great Christmas and weekend and all the fun stuff. I feel like I have not been on here with you guys in forever. So, um, whew. welcome to Mountain Made Creations, you guys. I'm Jill, and if you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Um, I am getting back into the swing of things. We were sick before Christmas, so I got behind. So now we're doing some catch up and I'm finally getting a lot done and I'm going to start doing more lives and I'm also going to, I'm going to try to do the, what do you think Wednesdays again, if that works out, but for sure, I'm going to be hopping on here doing lives with you guys because sublimation is my all time favorite thing. It is, I don't know. I just love it. It's changed my little side hustle a lot, especially this fourth, fourth quarter was been awesome. So, um, let me share this out so that I, I, if you're not in Jill's creative side, that's my private group. I do special things over there, um, for that group only. And I do giveaways over there. So if you're not in that group, go join it. Um, I do a top 10 contributor giveaway every month and that's coming up tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be doing the drawing tomorrow or sometime next week, but I'll definitely be doing that. All right, so I'm just sharing the video so they don't miss anything. So today what we're doing is we're gonna be using some sublimation on these little makeup bags that I found at Hobby Lobby just to test on and see how things works out. Um, now I have made shirts, this is sublimation. It's best to use a higher content of polyester but this is 50-50, 50, 50, 50 cotton, 50% 50 polyester, and it works fine. A lot of people say it works fine, so that's what I'm using because it's hard to find 100% polyester shirts that are not scratchy and all that good stuff. So um, we're going to try these makeup bags. Um, these are sublimation blanks, and I'm pretty sure they are 100% uh, polyester. And these came from Hobby Lobby. This one was $1.50 and this one was 99 cents. So we're going to be sublimating on these. And I have already created the design and printed it. So what you'll need if you're going to do sublimation, you're either going to need a transfer that is on sublimation paper. And if you're doing it yourself, you're going to need a sublimation printer with ink and all that fun stuff. So um, I have the Epson F170. I highly recommend that if you're getting started. Um, I started out just purchasing transfers just to see how I liked sublimation and I was instantly in love with it. And the Epson F170 is a sublimation printer. There's Epson printers that you can convert, but if you do that, you're voiding the warranty. And I wanted to start out with something where I didn't have to change the settings, that it was set up to go, and it's it's been awesome. The largest it'll print is 8.5 by 14, but for me, that has not been a problem. I am going to be making some garden flags here soon, and I'm going to have to piece together the, uh, I'm going to have to use like four 8.5 by 11s and put together to make the flag because the flag is bigger than what I can print. So I have not done that yet, but I'm I'm studying on that right now. So you'll need some parchment paper. I just picked these up at Sam's because it was a good price, two big rolls. I think it was $15. And you're gonna need some heat resistant tape. You're gonna need a heat source, which I have a heat press here. It's the fancier studio and it's the clamshell type. So you're gonna, um, need that. You're going to need parchment paper and you're going to need your transfer. And I think that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some parchment paper inside this little one to begin with. And I have this, um, you have to print this mirrored. My printer is set up to automatically do that. So that's awesome. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Um, I put, I use Silhouette Studio a lot for my designs and um, printing and all that and I just took a square or rectangular a rectangle of the size of this and put the design in that to make sure it fit and then printed it so what I'm gonna do is put some parchment paper inside I feel like I haven't been on here with you guys in forever I hope everybody had a great Christmas a lot of people were sick we were missing a few of our family members from the sicknesses that are going around. And we finally are getting over ours. It was crazy. I mean, we, we couldn't do anything. We just laid on the couch and 
I had all this stuff to do. I was like, oh my gosh. But anyway. All right, so I put the parchment paper inside. And this is the design. And you want to put the design. Um, actually, I'm going to put the design face up. And then I'm going to lay this on top of it. And then I'm going to tape it down. Or I may do it this way, just so I can see where I'm at. I have not sublimated on these um, bags before. So this will be new. And I have made tons of earrings and I am so in love with making those. They are so much fun. All right, so I'm just getting this lined up as best that I can. And I'm gonna take and probably just tape it to a piece of parchment paper. And when you're doing the um, sublimation on the fabric and like the earrings, you want the paper side face up. The back of it says Asa, that's the brand of paper. You want, you want it this face up when you put it under the heat press, if that makes sense. Now I know when I do this, to, when I do the um, slates, that's done different. <laughs> so it took me a minute to get used to that. So all I'm doing here is just lining it up best that I can. And I'm going to tape this down onto the parchment paper because I'm gonna put a piece on top of it because you don't want this to move at all because it'll cause what they call ghosting and that kind of ruins it. And these were cheap enough that I could practice with and not worry if I messed it up. <laughs> so, and this is um, heat resistant tape that you can get um, at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart. I think everybody carries it. All right, so I think I have this lined up. I'm not real sure, but we're gonna go with it. So I just have it taped down on this. Hey, Marianne, how are you doing? So y'all let me know what, what y'all are doing for New Year's Eve. We are not doing anything. We are staying home. I've been out there giving some treats to the guineas. Oh, it's just been, it's been a great day. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the heat press just like this. And then I'm gonna put parchment paper over top of it and we're gonna press it at 400 degrees for 40 seconds. And it's kind of like a medium pressure. It's not real hard pressure. And so we're gonna go with it. I've not done this with the zipper, so I don't know how that's gonna work, really, how that's gonna come out, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out together. And then I have a bigger one we can work on. So that's kind of weird where that zipper is, but we're gonna go with it and we're gonna see what happens. So let me put this under here. And I've got my um, paper side up, just like I showed you. And so that's what we're doing with that one. So now I have this one, which is a little bit bigger. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to lint roll it. <laughs> And I forgot to put it under there and get the moisture out. We'll do this one the correct way. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've been on here with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and when that one comes out, I'm gonna put this one in for a few minutes, get the moisture out of it. And then we got the same design for this one. So that's gonna be good. Staying home, just low key, cool. Um, we're making makeup bags with sublimation designs. So that's what we're doing. Hey, Audrey, how are you doing? Everybody staying home, yes. I'm all about that staying home. And you wanna be really careful when you take this out because it is 400 degrees. I did finally buy some heat resistant gloves because the, um, the earrings and the ornaments were so hot taking them off. Oh my goodness, you guys, it turned out perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right, so here we go, you guys. How stinking cute is that? I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So it didn't really hurt it too bad that I didn't, number one, I didn't press it, pre-press it. Number two, I didn't lint roll it. <laughs> so it did turn out. How cute is that, you guys? These would make awesome little Valentine gifts. Um, I may have to fix one up for Nevaeh's teachers and bus driver like we try to do for different other holidays. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna put this one under there. I'm gonna put this one in the heat press first just to get the moisture out, even though it didn't seem to bother that one. All right, 
it. So I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. But this turned out so cute, you guys. I hope I didn't melt the zipper. I don't know. But anyway, it turned out really cute. I don't know what's going on with the zipper on that. Maybe I melted it. Or maybe that's just the fabric. So anyway, y'all, this is so cute. Ah, I love, love, love sublimation, you guys. Okay, so this one is um, done. Or I've got the moisture out, hopefully. And if you do sublimation, you're going to go through a ton of parchment paper. But parchment paper is very necessary because when you're heat pressing something and it, um, like on the, uh, it's called blowout and you'll have some of the ink get on like the parchment paper. You want it on the parchment paper and not your heat press pad because then it's going to transfer over on other items and you really don't want that. All right. So I think that I don't know what was going on with the zipper on that one. Okay, so I'm just going to take a regular lint roller and I'm going to roll or get all the lint off of there because if you have like dust particles or anything, it's going to show up. Um, I don't really see any in here, but it will show up on your design if you have any dust on there. So what I'm going to do is the same thing with this one. I'm going to put this, and this is mirrored. That's why it looks backwards. It needs to be mirrored. Um, and so I'm just going to put this down on here. I'm going to line it up just like I did that other one, and then we're going to tape it down. And I guess, I think I actually got this one pretty straight. It's not perfect, but it's, it's okay. I think I have the worst trouble getting things lined up for some reason. I don't know what my deal is. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to tape this down right onto that parchment paper because you don't want it to move. If it moves any, it's going to it's gonna give you like a ghosting effect. It just doesn't look good. And then it will be done. So you want to tape it really good. So I'm going to put it on the heat press just like this, and I'm going to put some parchment paper on top of it to protect my mat. And we're gonna do 400 degrees for 40 seconds, and that's what it calls for. Um, I know on the back of the, if you're ever not sure what temperatures to use and all that, on the back, I use this A sub sublimation paper, and it has a chart on the back of it that tells you what temperatures and times for a lot of items, so that's pretty handy if you're not sure. I keep a cheat sheet that um, I write down what I'm making, like the ornaments and the earrings. I know it's 400 degrees for 70 seconds. And so I just write them down. And I have done a couple aluminum. I posted those on the page. The aluminum does really good too. All okay, so we're gonna go with this. And we're doing 40 seconds. And like I said, it is hot when it comes out. So you guys, look at these earrings. I haven't finished these earrings yet um, because I have to do the backs of them, but I couldn't wait to show y'all. They are adorable. Look at this. How cute is that little bunny with that with the heart? It's so sweet. Oh my goodness. And well, here's a bigger one. How cute is that, you guys? I am loving these earrings. I have made a ton of earrings and um, I'll show you a few that I made. I posted them yesterday, but they are so cute. Anyway, this is a quick and easy little um, DIY for the sublimation makeup bags. And like I said, you wanna be careful because it's gonna be hot, hot. Ah, I love it. Y'all, this is so sweet. Look at this. I mean, how easy was that? And it's so cute. So I'm definitely going to have to do some Valentine um, gift ideas with these. Let me turn my heat press off. Um, these would be so cute for Valentine's Day, especially because it has a heart on it. Um, you can never have too many hearts. As me and my niece, Nevaeh, say, you never have too many hearts. So these are... 
100% polyester makeup bags that I got at Hobby Lobby. Very cheap, $1.50 and 99 cents. And um, they're very inexpensive. Like if you want to put some goodies in there for a gift, some earrings or um, just any kind of lip gloss or chapstick or just hand lotion, it would make a cute um, little gift idea. And so you could put some cute little Valentine earrings in there. I mean, these would be just perfect for that. So I think that that is going to be a really cute gift idea. I don't know what's going on with the zipper on these, if it's melting it. And you know what? I didn't even put anything inside this one. Let's see if it, it didn't even bleed through. I forgot to put the paper in there. So the zipper's fine on it. It works. So it didn't melt it like I thought it did. I think it just pressed it flat. Maybe. Yeah, it works. So these would make a really cute Valentine's gift idea for a teacher or a bus driver or a coworker or just for just because or anything. So these would make great, great, great gifts, you guys. So that's it for today. That's the tutorial for today. So let me show you some earrings really quick. A lot of these I did in two sizes. I do have these are two inch and these are inch and a half. So I have both available. So if you see a design on any earring and you want it on a different size, just let me know. I can do different sizes. And I have some different shapes coming. I just received some little hearts. Um, I can't wait to do those. Those are smaller than I thought they were going to be though. So these are purple um, with gold stars and glitter. So cute, you guys. Super, super cute. And... These little hummingbirds, oh my goodness, look how cute those are. The colors on these are just so, so pretty, and they're so shiny, and this is double-sided. Some of them are double-sided, and some of them are not. I think I'm trying to do a lot of double-sided ones, um, so these are all double-sided. This one is double-sided. Um, we have these little flower earrings. These are so cute, like the retro flowers. These are on... Um, one sided, they're just solid brown on the other side, but they're still cute. You can't really tell. These are only one sided, so you can't really tell. I mean, they, they look this, they look fine one sided, but I have both. These are super cute. Um, I really like this one, those are cute. Um, and like I said, all the earrings I can do any design on whatever size that you want. If you want a pair of earrings, um, these are one sided. These are double-sided. These are one-sided. But look how I love the Faith earrings. So these are an um, inch and a half, and these are two inches. And they're the teardrop. And all the earrings are $10. And if they're if you need shipping, I can ship. Um, it'll just be extra. Usually it's $3 or $4. It, I, don't, I haven't really seen it get any higher than that unless it's really heavy items. But these are, these are dear, so you could wear these in the wintertime. I think I would. And these are some snowflakes, even though I'm not crazy about snow. But there's some snowflakes. And we have some crosses. That's like cheetah print and hearts. I don't know if, it, if you can really tell, but that, I thought those were cute. And then we have these little rainbow and butterfly earrings. These are super cute. And these are double-sided. The same on both sides. So those are cute. And oh my gosh, y'all, look at these little bunnies. Um, I'm going to also put the bunny with the heart on a, on a shirt. I just haven't printed it yet, but how cute is that? You guys, I'm like crazy over this sublimation. The, 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 turner, the turnout on these are just so cute. This one I did the back in white background, and this one is pink. And this is just pink on both sides. And these are inch and a half, two inches. And I have tons more that I'm gonna be making. Um, and I do have like the pink snowman in the two sizes. The snowmen are so cute and they're all winter. You don't have to wear those for Christmas. That can be anything. And um, I have a lot of designs that I'm gonna be putting on a shirt. Like this is a heart with butterflies. I don't know if you can tell what that is here, but this is sublimation. And we have the cheetah heart with the flowers and they're all backwards because they have to be mirrored. But I have tons of earrings to make. I can't wait. So these are these have some really cute earrings, some, some little kitties, um, cheetahs, 
some pink, some um, St. Patrick's Day, some snowflakes. So yeah, I am loving it. Loving it, loving it. And this is just another sheet. So anyway, you guys, if you have any questions at all, let me know. I'm happy to help you if I can. But these turned out so good. I love how these turned out. Um, so anyway, these make great Valentine's ideas for gifts for teachers, bus drivers, um, mail carriers, um, anybody. This would be great. We'll like put some hand lotion, some cute earrings, something like that in there that's useful, chapstick, all that. So anyway, that's that's all we have for today. So you guys, I hope you'll have a happy new year. Um, I'm fixing to go out here and uh, round up my guineas and put them in for the night. But I hope you'll have a great new year. So I hope everybody stays safe. And I hope everyone had a great Christmas. And I just want to say thank you guys. This has been, since I've been doing this side business, since about 2017, this past year has been my best one so far. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sharing, for telling people. Um, thank you for the orders. I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of your support because if it, I couldn't do this if it wasn't for you guys. So I love this so much. This is just my most favorite thing to do is make things and to show you guys how to make things. It's just fun. Um, so that is it. You guys have a very happy new year and I, I may jump on tomorrow. I'm not sure, but we're going to do the, um, drawing for the January, for the December top contributors. And I'm going to be giving away that devotional book that says, um, I think it says you got this. I, I can't remember. I'll show it though when I go live, but that's what I'm going to be gifting to one of you for being a top contributor. And the way you're a top contributor over on Jill's creative side, not in this group, but in Jill's creative side, you just comment, like post, post pictures, whatever, um, all that good stuff. And that gets you into the top contributors. So I may jump on tomorrow over there and do the drawing. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, while I'm thinking about it, this is on aluminum. How cute is that? It's only one sided, but it's like an ornament. Um, but you could use this for a bookmark or for anything, but these are super cute too. Um, so another way to personalize things. All right, you guys, that's all I've got for you to, for you today. You go have yourself a great happy new year and I'll see y'all next year. Y'all take care.